how to add products to Facebook shop. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a Facebook shop and also add a product to it. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to hop on facebook.com then create your account within that the platform and also uh, after you have uh, had your account you need to set up a page or create a page because it is very necessary to get a page so how we can create a page go ahead to the pages right there and you will see the pages that you have in case you don't have a page you are going to create a new profile or a new page set up the informations for that specific page for example and then you are going to set the name the logo and also the bio of that specific page so in my case i have a three pages so i'm going to choose one of these pages after i have chosen the page so we are going to switch the user to this specific page like that we are going to see the professional menu of that specific page as you can see i have published multiple uh, right there products for of the drop shipping uh, purpose but i didn't set up any facebook shop yet for it so how we can go ahead and set up a shop simply we are going to the left side menu on the page right there and we are going to select meta business suit uh here uh right there we are going to see all the tools on this page click on all the tools then we are going to search for the sell products and services so we are going to find it right there then we are going to click on commerce click on commerce and here we have the uh, commerce account or the commerce manager from here you can go ahead and set up a shop how we can do that simply you are going to set up right there or click on add account click on it and then you are going to create your own shop so we are going to follow these steps here we have the uh, starting uh, step click on next if you are going to use or you are using any of these uh, third-party platforms like shopify bigcommerce and one of these you can go ahead and connect your store directly to them but if you don't need or you don't need or you don't use one of these you are going to set i don't use these platforms then click on next here you are going to set up the country you have the list of the countries available uh, go ahead and set up a, a functioning country so after you have set that you are going to uh, click on next choose sales channels and here we have the uh, smith clothings which is the page that we are going to use click on it click on next and here we are going to connect the business portfolio so we are going to select any of these business portfolios that we have and then we are going to click on a next so here you are going to set up or confirm your business uh, email should be an email used to conduct email businesses so we are going to set a email or there might be i will set that and here we have the phase of adding the product so as you can see here we have or the uh, facebook detected that we have uh, set up a shopify catalog before so we are going to add our new catalog click on next uh, for there we have the country we have the states we can go ahead and select the states to ship in the usa for example here we have the address type we are going to set up here the pl box track street apo fpo or dpo for the handling time you are going to set for example let's go ahead and add five days maybe at maximum you can offer standard shipping right here you are going to set a base rate of ten dollars or whatever you want the addition will be five dollars cart minimum for free shipping it is up to you if you want to add that option you can offer the expedited shipping or offer rush shipping for let's say 20 bucks uh, the addition is going to be 10 and here for the return window you are going to choose the number of days customers have to return 
the products starting on the day they have or they uh, are delivered. So usually they use 30 days. I don't know how about you, but you can go ahead and set up to 90 days or 45 days. I think it is a lot, but I don't know. Uh, uh, it depends on the person and the preferences of uh, or the shop owner. Here are the shop contact email. Put up the shop content. Uh, now you can also put a email opt in which is optional for that specific uh, right there uh, store. Here we have the preview. So we are going to set up uh, right there the preview. We are going to finish the setup. Then we are going to wait for uh, the saving of the information. After you have set up everything for uh, the shop, you will be getting this menu. So as you can see, I have uh, redid uh, all the process with my Shopify account since the first account had uh, some issues. So all we need to do to add the products is to hover uh, uh, about right here catalog, click on items, right there it will let you see all the items that are available for your shop as you can see. So if you want to add a product, cl simply click on add items. And now we are going to see here the item creator. So we are going to visit the uh, Shopify account. If you have a Shopify account, if you have not linked a Shopify account, you are going to add it from here. You will be redirected uh, from there. So you can go ahead and add it from Facebook if you didn't connect your Shopify account. So in my case, you can go ahead and add a product to from a Shopify. You are going to add them. This is a, a common here or a standard uh, procedure since uh, Facebook has hit it to Shopify. So I highly recommend you to connect your Shopify account to set that. So because I have had some troubles connecting uh, a, a shop without a shop of Shopify or WooCommerce. For example, you are going to set necklace right here. Or we are going to set a normal one such as t-shirt. You are going to set the description right there. You can go ahead and set up a photo for that specific uh, product that you are going to set. So maybe I'm going to do uh, add this one. And here we are going to add the pricing for example like that. Track the quantity. You are going to set up the quantity right there. Put it like that. Also the shop location. Don't forget and continue selling when out of stock. I highly recommend you to do that because in case we have a trouble, some troubles within the uh, right here, the quantity tracker or the uh, inventory tracker, uh, they will be put it at zero. Just in case of a an error or something like that, you can be selling out of stock right there. Make sure to set up the shipping as this is a physical product. For the weight, I am going to set the standard of two. Uh, 0 0.2 uh, kilogram now we have set everything all we need to do is to click on save then we are going to see that specific product so here we are going to uh, refresh whether the page until the product or the item will be added it will take a little bit of time but it will be added whenever uh, they will detect or make an update within uh, your store that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.